This one is quite a bit heavier of a cut. I had been looking at doing engineering for many years, because that's what my father did, and then I discovered, you know, I don't like the calculus, and I'd much rather be building stuff and designing my own stuff. Matthew Scott is pursuing a four-year degree in precision machining technology. At Central Maine Community College, the trade programs are thriving. It's a challenging job, but I enjoy doing it. Santa Barbosa works full time, and she's here to further her career. Employers are, are desperate for workers. They're coming to us telling us that they have spots that they cannot fill. They need to have employees who are trained in the trade, whether it be plumbing or HVAC or precision machining or electronics or automotive. Betsy Libby is the acting president and dean of academic affairs. She says school leaders have talked about incorporating plumbing and heating ventilation and air conditioning programs for years. Funding was a concern until now. The Maine Community College system awarded CMCC $750,000 to implement two new degree programs for HVAC and plumbing. It's part of a package of four new workforce development programs. Students will earn credit for hands-on experience and the odds of securing jobs before graduation? are pretty good. Jobs that can pay more than $60,000 a year. This during a time when student loan debt has reached $1.5 trillion nationwide. With specialty trade degree programs, students like Matthew Scott can pursue their passion without taking on a mountain of student loan debt. As of now, I've paid off my first year of college. I'm looking really good to pay off my second. You can't beat the tuition here. Students can start applying now for those programs and the lab space is slated to be ready by August. Classes will then begin in the fall.